your birth, wherever you may be, inshallah, you will accept us as your closest uh, supporters and ansar. Inshallah, the Quran recitation tonight is very unique in that uh, it's something that I've only seen done overseas in uh, Quran competitions and uh, in Iran we call them Mahfil Quran, Ins the Quran. That these are haflas that people come together and they just recite Quran. It's a celebration of just the Quran. And uh, what sisters Alina and Ayana Ahmed will be doing for us is they've practiced uh, and memorized uh, a part of Surah Al Rahman. They're part of our Islamics class on Saturdays that we have here at the masjid. And they're going to be reciting the surah uh, simultaneously, synchronously. And we have on the projector Surah Al Rahman as well, so we can read along with them, inshallah. Please help me welcome them to this stage. Bada salata three loud salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Sisters Alina and Ayana Ahmed. Again, Sister Alina and Ayana are part of our Islamic classes that we have on Saturdays, part of the, the many different courses and programs that we have weekly. Uh, inshallah, the, the plan for today that, and maybe we can try to incorporate it into our lives as well, is that any time that we say salawat today, let's add the wajil farajahum as well. So, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. وعجل فرجهم صلوا على محمد وآل محمد الله صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم. So again, I welcome everyone to the Islamic House of Wisdom, celebrating the birth of Al Qa'im Al Mahdi. أجل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف. Some announcements before we get to. We have two reciters today and lecture, of course. And we have Haj Abbas Al Shafi'i. Who will be doing Nasheed, and we have Mullah Ali Az Zuhairi who will be doing a Maulid for us. And uh, Imam Ilahi's topic for tonight 
is whom, who is waiting for whom? Are we waiting for Imam Zaman or is Imam Zaman waiting for us? So it will truly be a pretty interesting topic. Tomorrow we have, uh, we are going to continue the celebrations. We have youth night discussions, uh, lecture by myself, where, we, where I'll be analyzing um, what the Prophet وسلم, has said about Imam Mahdi in the khutbah of Ghadir. And you'll find it very interesting that the Holy Prophet in the khutbah of Ghadir has named four Imams by name, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein, Imam Ali, of course, and Imam Al Mahdi by name five or six times. And he says 20 to 25 different things about Imam Zaman and his rulership. So to get more information about this great discussion, join us tomorrow at 7 p.m. Ramadan is right around the corner. So we have a Ramadan volunteer committee. Uh, so if you have any time where you're able to volunteer, let's say for the iftars or the ushering or Laylatul uh, Ghadr, you can join that committee. The masjid is hiring different positions. You can uh, give your application either online or in person for that. And uh, if you guys have any questions about the announcements that I give, anything you hear, you can either ask me, uh, any of the volunteers that you see, or the front office to get more information. On the topic of information, we have a great WhatsApp group. I'm one of the admins myself. It's great because you get all the information you need without the spam. So every week we send a maximum, maximum of five messages of the programs that the masjid has. If there's a maulid, if there's a wafat, we mention all of them. So on your way out, there's going to be a paper where you can put your information to be a part of this spam-free group chat where you're able to connect with the masjid and stay in touch. For the youth, we have Ramadan craft and competition, Sunday, March 27th, uh, where they'll be making decorations for, their, for your houses. And I've heard that there's a $50 prize for whoever makes the best decoration. So whoever's artsy, maybe. Easy money that you guys can make. We also have Ramadan dates and cookie decorations with discussion on March 31st. Uh, if you can reserve for both of these events, that would be great for our volunteers so they can accommodate. And we have, just like last year, we have the Walkathon initi Initiative, where this, this year our goal is to do 1,400 miles. We're going to track them. And the niya is for Imam Sahib al Asli was the man. And you might ask me, well, if we're walking, how are we, how are we helping Imam Zaman in any way? This is how. Imam Zaman needs healthy and strong supporters, not like a couch potato like myself. So what we're going to be doing is throughout from now until Ramadan, the end of Ramadan, we're going to be counting how many miles we've walked, we've biked, we've ran throughout the days. You send it to us and we keep a tally. And at the end of the month of Ramadan, Eid al-Fitr, we'll see if we have met the our goal of 1,400 miles. So the niya, uh, so it comes with certain uh, restrictions here or certain uh, conditions, and that is that when you're doing these miles to say Bismillah to do some dhikr, uh, either you have a masbaha and you're doing salawat, you're doing tasbihat al zahra while you're walking, and your niya will be something like this. Oh Allah, I'm putting this effort into getting stronger and healthier so I can become a better supporter of Imam Zaman. Insha'Allah, we will continue with Hajj Abbas al-Shafi'i, who Hajj Abbas is also the du'a reciter for du'a Kumay. Very beautiful recitations. Um, I think that after you hear his nasheed that he's going to recite, you'll want to come to every single one of his du'a Kumays at the masjid. Please help me welcome him after three loud salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad.
بهت جاي تورات ميبان الفراج كفلت بلا مفتاح والطوفان يا نوح القلوب مشتاق It's his own track, so uh, you can follow him on Instagram, Abbas Shafai or Shafai, uh, where he he puts out his some of his uh, singles, his albums, and things like that on Instagram and his YouTube as well. I know we have uh, Mullah Ali Zuhairi next for the Maulid. Before we get into Mullah Ali, uh, just a little background. We have uh, like a celebrity among us. Mullah Ali has recited internationally. He was invited to Kuwait a couple months back where he did majalis for Fatimiyah, I believe. So his voice is truly amazing. I've listened to it at uh, different masajid, different marakas. So we want to give him a lot of energy, a lot of, uh, you know, he's put in the effort to come here, so we want to make sure he enjoys it himself, and we enjoy it as well. I'd like to, you know, usually we do, a, I say, yeah, everyone says Ali or Mahdi. Let's try to do something different this time. Or I'll say, Allahumma ajjil liwaliyik al-faraj, and everyone will say, Ameen. I'll say, Allahumma ajjil liwaliyik al-faraj. Ameen. So let's see if we can build up enough energy for Mullah to come to the stage. Allahumma ajjil li waliyyik al-faraj. Allahumma ajjil li waliyyik al-faraj. Allahumma ajjil li waliyyik al-faraj. With that, Brother Ali, if you can help yourself up to the stage, let's send three salawat and also clapping to encourage him to come up here. Sallu ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد. على محبة الحسن والحسين الثانية. لتعجيل في فرج مولانا صاحب العصر والزمان لسلامتكم ولسلامة صاحب العصر والزمان. يرفع أصواتكم بالصلاة على محمد وآل محمد ويعلى الأصوات بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد أسعد الله أيامنا وأيامكم بذكرى ميلاد مولاي صاحب العصر والزمان نرفع أسماء آيات التهاني والتبريكات لمقامه الطاهر الشريف 
لشيعة أمير المؤمنين علماؤنا الأفاضل لوركة الصلاة على محمد وآل محمد أدم الصلاة الكل لازم يحكي، الكل لازم يحكي، الكل لازم يحكي. 
يا حبيبي وروحي شو ايدك فوق يا طبيب جروحي شو ايدك شو ايدك يا حبيبي وروحي اعلى يا طبيب جروحي يا طبيب جروحي يا مهدي يا مهدي يا حبيب وروحي يا طبيب جروحي يلا يا حبيب وروحي اعلى يا طبيب جروحي يا طبيب جروحي يا مهدي يا مهدي يا طبيب جروحي يا مهدي يا طبيب جروحي إيه يا نبض بالقلب عايش بدلالي سيدي طاعتك حققت آمالي حققت ما غبيت عن نظر ما رحت عن بالي يا هلا جيتك يا حبيب الغالي يا حبيب مرحبا بمحبوبنا يا عزيز قلوبنا يا عزيز قلوبنا يا مهدي يا مهدي يا حبيب وروحي يا طبيب جروحي ويا ايدي يا حبيب وروحي يا طبيب جروحي يا طبيب جروحي يا مهدي يا طبيب جروحي خادمك وافتخر بك شيلا راسي عاشقك للابد يا اعز كل ناسي يا اعز يا اعز كل ناسي يا اعز ما اسمع يا اعز كل ناسي يا اعز يا مليك وانصبيت عرشك باحساسي حيدري فاطمي بغيرتك عباسي غيرتك والله يا مهدينا والله يا مهدينا حبك الجنينة والله يا مهدينا حبك الجنينة حبك الجنينة يا مهدي يا مهدي حبك الجنينة يا مهدي حبك الجنينة يا مهدي يلا يلا يا حبيبي وروحي يا طبيب جروحي يا طبيب جروحي يا مهدي يا مهدي يا طبيب جروحي مولدك فرحتي فرحة يا محلاه مولدك فرحتي فرحة يا محلاه أمسك دنيتي وهي ما أمساه هي ما جيتك شيعتك حقها من تتباه جيتك شيعتك حقها من تتباه بالحفل فاطمة حضرة وياه حضرة يلا حضرة وياه حضرة احكي حضرة وياه حضرة هذا صوت الشيعة يا ابو صالح بيعه هذا صوت الشيعة يا ابو صالح بيعه يا ابو صالح بيعه يا مهدي يا مهدي يا ابو صالح بيعه يا مهدي يا مهدي يا حبيب وروحي يا طبيب حبيب جروحي يا مهدي اعلى يا حبيب وروحي الله يا طبيب جروحي يا طبيب جروحي يا مهدي يا مهدي يا طبيب جروحي يا مهدي أعلى يا طبيب جروحي يا مهدي يا مهدي يا طبيب جروحي غايبي وغيبتك عذبت أحبابك سيدي مروتك كافي من غيابك كافي من غيابك كافي من غيابك ننتظر والصبر يسجد على اعتابك نعتني شف امل نوقف عند بابك نوقف عند 
يمت فجرك يبدي سيدي المهدي سيدي المهدي يا مهدي يا مهدي يمت فجرك يبدي سيدي المهدي سيدي المهدي يا مهدي يا مهدي سيدي اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج اللهم عجل اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج اللهم نور الله اجا نحطته وسره اكيد بجيت هاي سرة الزهرة يرد كان الضلع ويجبر الكسرة والعاد الزهرة يقصيده والعاد الزهرة يقصيده والعاد الزهرة يقصيده والعاد الزهرة يقصيده والعاد الزهرة والعاد الزهرة يقصيده والعاد الزهرة الله فرحان الانس والجان فرحان شعنور الامام المهدي بسمان فرحان الانس والجان فرحان شعنور الامام المهدي بسمان من تضرين يمتي رب رب الوانا من تضرين يمتي رب رب الوانا وكف الراي عليها وكف كف الراي عليها وكف الراي عليها وكف يوم خمسطع الشعبان يوم العيد يتلاشى الحزن والفرح بي يزيد عوف السواد ونلمسح نجدين ونبارك للهاج وآلة ونبارك لل ونبارك للهاج وآلة ونبارك للهاج وآلة ونبارك لل ونبارك للهاج وآلة ونبارك للهاج وآلة ونبارك لل بارك للهادي بارك للهادي عاجز بيش اوصف حجة الباري وفجل عن القلم ما يكتب اشعاري ابو صالح يوصفه يفتر الطاري ويرت الايات وصافه ويرت الايات وصافه ويرت الايات وصافه ويرت يا علي يا علي يا علي 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 يا علي 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 يا علي 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 ايه وعلي غايه وعلي رايه وعلي ثايه وعلي همه وعلي قمه وعلي حماي الحمي علي نور وعلي سور علي نور وعلي سور علي اللي يذل الجر علي اللي يذل الجر علي بيد المده علي اللي يذل الجر علي بيد المده يا اخو الهادي ووصي مثال العبقري يا حم هاي الحميه يا حم هاي الحميه وبطل كرار قال الباباقي بطل كرار قال الباباقي عنا بطل كرار قال علي هاي وعلي غاية وعلي راية وعلي ثاية وعلي همة وعلي حمة الحمة علي همة وعلي قمة وعلي نور وعلي سور وعلي نور وعلي سور علي اللي يذل الجر علي اللي يذل الجر علي جت المر علي جت المر علي بيد المده علي بيد المده يا خل هذه وصية مثال العبقري يا حماي الحمية يا حماي الحمية وبطل كرار قال البابا قل عنا بطل يا بطل كرار قال البابا قل عنا بطل اليهود بحسن خيبر كان يفتخرون يعتقدون كان الباب نابوره ما يدرون شفت بس دحيت الباب طاح الباب كله وانهدم سوره وطل كرار قال بطل كرار قال الباب اقل عنا بطل كرار بطل كرار قال بطل كرار قال 
يا علي يا علي 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 يا علي 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 يا علي ومنظر بنتك يهتز جدار الكون واللي نظر شخصك صابت الرهبان اذا عيسى بن مريم جابت العذراء علي شقت بطنها وجابت الكعبه علي الكرار علي الكرار قال البابا قل عنا علي الكرار قال البابا قل عنا علي الكرار علي الكرار قال البابا قل عنا علي الكرار صلوات على محمد وعلى اهل محمد صلوات على محمد سلمكم جميعا هذا البيت واسلمكم الدعاء ان شاء الله هناك هناك سيطرة تفتيش منصوبة على المعبر هناك سيطرة تفتيش منصوبة على المعبر وبالمعبر نعرف الناس بين الأصل ومزور وبالمعبر نعرف الناس الناس علي يا علي علي يا علي وبالمعبر نعرف الناس بين الأصل ومزور يا هنيا على الجواز البي ختم المرتضى حيدر ختم المرتضى ختم المرتضى عمي ختم المرتضى ويا للحيدر ما ضيل هنيا للحيدر ما ضيل هنيا للحيدر ما ضيل هنيا للحيدر هنيا للحيدر ما ضيل هنيا للحيدر هذا استغفر الله ما سعد الله ايامنا وايامكم متواركين ان شاء الله سامحونا على الاطاله والتقصير افلح من صلى على محمد وال محمد باعلى الاصوات Wow, wow, mashallah. Can we give Brother Ali a round of applause? You know, Brother Ali, I was clapping so hard. At one point in my hand, I got a spasm and I couldn't, or a cramp. I couldn't clap anymore. But I, I switched arms and we're here now. We will do the raffles, some raffles, inshallah. We have Kahoot as well. And of course, we here we are. Celebrating Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Of course, we have to learn a, li a little bit about him as well through the lecture, inshallah. The, are we still selling rifles? We can turn off the echo as well. Sister said, are, are we still selling? We're still selling rifles. You can buy them right there. And you can see some of our rifles on display. We're going to do maybe three, four right now. And uh, we'll do the rest after the lecture, inshallah. So, are you ready? Let's send the loud salawat if we are. You know, we said in the beginning that we should say the Ajit Farajahum as well, but I only heard maybe one brother who said it. Let's say one more time the salawat with the Ajit Farajahum. Allah! ثم صلي على محمد So first raffle goes to Let's see Not you, not you, someone else Someone else, someone else do it? I'm not looking though I'm not cheating Why don't you pick that? I'll pick, I'll pick, I'll pick one And then we'll switch it 
Yes. Well, we'll give it to one of the, the volunteers. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. No, but they only There's no names on it. They're just numbers. I can't yeah. cheat if I wanted to. I don't even have any raffles. You just okay. put the numbers on the top. Yeah. The number is 126203. 126203. We have a winner? Yes, can we confirm? Round of applause. Just person like me is the same as unfair. One of the girls, all girls. So they, they picked up two. One, two, six, one, nine, one. One, two, six, one, nine, one. Three, I think we have a winner, maybe, possibly. Yes? Yes, let's give a round of applause. Next one is one, two, six, zero, six, zero. nine. Zero. Last time we had raffles, Fatima asked me, can I do it? I said, no, and everyone left. But this time we were late. One, two, six, one, two, four. Final one for now. One, two, six, one, two, three. Oh, How many left? One, two, we have six, is it? How about this? If we can send a loud enough salawat, we'll do one more. Last one for now. One, two, six, two, zero, five. Oh, this, you guys, the people in the back, you guys have to come to the, oh, you didn't win? One, two, six, two, zero, five. Man, two, zero, five. I, I can't, that's cheating. No winner? I'm gonna call it one more time. Or else we do a redraw. One, two, six, Two zero five. No winner. Well, we we'll do another one. One two six one four nine. Salamualaikum. Allah Muhammadiyya Muhammad. Last call. One two six. One four nine. No winner. You know what? Winner. One two six one four nine. Can we confirm? <laughs> to our winners, we have more raffles as you can see. You can buy more. But for now, I'd like to introduce Imam Al to the stage where he, his topic will be: Who is waiting for whom? Us for Imam Zaman, or is Imam Zaman waiting for us? So, let us welcome him to the stage with three loud salawat with the Ajil Farajahum. Allah! Salaamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 
Happy Friday. What is that? And a happy middle of Shaban, 15th of Shaban. And happy Milad Al Muntadar Al Mu'ud. Al Munqib. Al Mukhallis. The Imam of Light. Al Barat, one of the names of Night of Shaban. Laylatul Barat or Yawmul Barat means a festival of forgiveness, festival of faith, festival of love, festival of liberation, festival of freedom, festival of justice, festival of peace and prosperity, festival of hope and harmony. We know that the oppression, the injustice, the corruption, crime, warmongering, violation of human rights, blood, destruction and death, and this culture of the satanic culture, the devil deeds, won't last forever. Because the Quran told us, The righteous will be the rulers at the end of this world. The Quran is telling us, The warathun, the final authorities over this earth are mustad'afun, the oppressed. The Quran is telling us that those who try to turn the light of Lord off, they fail to do so forever. Quran is telling us that let them continue this, this, their conspiracy, their corruption, their kingdom and enjoy this petty pleasure for a few days in this world. At the end, وَأَمْهِلْهُمْ رُوَيْدَ وَيَكِيدُونَ كَيْدَ وَأَكِيدُ كَيْدَ فَمَحِّلِ الْكَافِرِينَ أَمْهِلْهُمْ رُوَيْدَ Because they have a little opportunity. But God is watching. And when we say these brothers and sisters as Muntadirun, remember, as I mentioned in the past, that Al Imam Al Mahdi alayhi salam, who Al Muntadar means somebody who is waited for, but at the same time, who Al Muntadar, he is the one who is waiting for us. So Al Imam Al Muntadir Al Muntadir. And we, as Atba Al Bayt, as the followers of Imam, as people who have faith in Imam Al Mahdi, we are also Al Muntadirun Wal Muntadirun. So we are waiting for Imam, Imam is waiting for us. Everybody is waiting for that right time when everybody is ready. Imam already told us that he's ready. Are we ready? Our responsibility, responsibility of al intidar The same thing that Ayatollah Sistani told us just a few days ago, that if you are waiting for Al-Imam Al-Mahdi, then your dua for Faraj, your dua al istidad al ta'a al-ibadah, al-sabr, al-sidq, al-iltizam, As-salat, Ihsan al-Walidayn, Anbir Ma'roof, Nahi Anil Munkar. These are list of things that we have to do. So for your kids, if you are waiting for Al-Imam Al-Mahdi, be nice to your parents. Show love for your dad, for your mom. This is what Imam Mahdi likes you to do.
Show a power, your submission, your obedience to their commandments. And through this al-intidhar, al-intidhar alaykum salam, al-intidhar means preparation, al-intidhar means mobilization, al-intidhar means organization, al-intidhar means dedication, al-intidhar means devotion, al-intidhar means unity, al-intidhar means love and compassion, al-intidhar means working for freedom and justice, Intidhar is not just observation, sitting there and waiting. So Imam, Imam Zaman is coming and he is going to fix things. That is not intidhar. If you are waiting for somebody who is coming from Lebanon, from Iraq, and you are waiting at the airport, that is an intidhar. Every moment you are ready that your guest getting out of the custom. Make sure that he is safe, she is safe. You are waiting for your luggage when you come, that is halatul intidhar. When we say we are muntadirin of al hujja that should be our intidhar, waiting. Just we are waiting for a very honorable and dear guest. So this is the meaning of yamla'u allahu al-arda qistan wa adla ba'dama mula'a dhulman wa jura. He's coming. So there is every reason to be hopeful. There is every reason to be optimistic. There is every reason to raise this culture that these girls and boys, they learn this culture of al intidhar So if this happens that Imam Mahdi comes and still you are alive, of course that is our dua. But that may not happen in our time. Next generation, next generation, ten generations from now, thousand generations from now. But we can contribute to that preparation. We can be part of solution. We can be part of preparing the world, preparing this planet for the appearance of peace and prosperity and justice. So if you are waiting for an Imam who is global, then our vision should be global, our wisdom should be global. It doesn't make sense that we are waiting for an Imam al-Mahdi, and Imam Mahdi is coming to bring peace, prosperity, and justice, and freedom to the entire world. But then we just narrow-minded. We are just in our own box. We think that Dearborn is the entire universe. It doesn't work that way. If your leader is global, then your vision must be global. Your preparation must be global. This is why we talk about what happened in Saudi Arabia, what happened in Yemen, what happened in Syria, what happened in Afghanistan, in Gaza, in Africa. Now what's going on in Ukraine? But we tell the entire truth. Shame on those who are silent when they see the suffering and the pain of the oppressed. How come? How come Boris Johnson now in, in Saudi Arabia to a smile to Ben Salman who killed over 80 people in one hour beheading them with sword? This is civilization of 21st century to use sword. What was their germ and their jarima and their sin and their guilt and their crime? What wrong they did that they deserve to be beheaded? You know what happened? They participated one time in a peaceful demonstration in Gatif or in Al Ahsa or in Awamiya somewhere. This is why we have to appreciate the freedom that we have here in this country. The democracy we have in this country. But be aware that there are people who want to take this freedom away from us. I mentioned today in Salat al Juma, read the article in New York Times today by the board of New York Times newspaper that they are warning 
that already half of the people in this country, they feel fear to, to exercise their freedom of speech. They are scared. They say, if you say, the, the, tell the truth, something may happen to us. Almost half of the people already feel this fear. It shouldn't be the case. We should protect our democracy, protect our freedom. And tell our leaders, political leaders, that it's a shame that you are silent when you are talking all the way in the last three weeks, day and night, every minute, every media, every TV, every radio, every magazine, every newspaper. is about Russia and Ukraine and uh, Putin and Zelensky, just three, four words. But none of them mention the crime, the corruption of this kingdom of corruption in, in Arabia that killing people back and forth. Why? Well, because they have oil. So cheap. What happened to your dignity? There's so much oil in this world. You're not going to die because of one day and one dollar. Show some respect for yourself. You don't expect the, the, the leaders of China and, and Russia talks about the human rights. They never talk about that. But now that you talk about human rights, you talk about human dignity, you talk about respect for human life, how you were silent and ignoring the blood of so many abriya, so many innocent people. You can't. That is shame, that is embarrassing, that is the death of your dignity that's so cheap that not only you were silent, but you were supported that by going to visit Ben Salman and sitting with him and smiling with him while those families are crying and they were not allowed even to have Majlis al-Fatha for the Shahada. But the Quran told us, they are alive. They are not dead. So happy birthday of Al Imam Al Mahdi alayhi salam to everyone. Be happy for the light of Ahlul Bayt. We are so proud to have Imam Al Mahdi. We are so proud to know the Imam. Man mata wa lam ya'arif Imam azamane mi mata mita tal jahiliya. We thank Allah for not make, making us ignorant about the truth, about the fact that we know Ahlul Bayt, we know our messenger. We know that the month of Sha'ban is Shahru Rasulullah. This is the month of the Prophet. And the coming month of Ramadan, Shahrullah, the month of divine, the month of dedication, the month of Allah. So be prepared for Ramadan. Who is willing to do the Siyam this year? Anybody the first time is going to fast this Ramadan? Of the kids, raise your hand. Those of you who are going to fast for the first time in this Ramadan, MashaAllah, I see so many hands. That when you fast, you are showing the piety, the purity of your heart and your mind and your soul. And you are saying that you listen to what Allah said, that you fast to show your appreciation. You fast to show your piety. And inshallah, you come to the masjid every night during the holy month of Ramadan. There are some people that they think that Ramadan is just a fun go to the festival and have uh, tatkhin and you know uh, argili and you know musal salat and game and all forget about that ramadan is a fun but heavenly fun not earthy fun right you have game in the garden of god not game in, in this world let us appreciate Ramadan is coming. Come to Masjid every night. There is English lecture, there is Arabic lecture. I know that they are doing so much tabligat propaganda that, you know, in Ramadan on the weekend, you get together here and there and 
everybody together and you can have fun. But Ramadan was planned to be a month of faith and family and friendship in a pure way, in a nice environment, in the masjid, in Beit Allah. So are you planning, and I know that some of you who go to a school, especially the children, you have to go to bed earlier. I know that is a challenge for you, but if somehow can make it, even if not every night, make it on the weekend that you don't have a school. And even the weekdays as much as you can, the lectures are going to be short in Ramadan, like an Arabic lecture, half an hour, the, uh, or even less, maybe 20 minutes Arabic, half an hour in English, and then we have Dua al-Iftitah. So be ready to fix ourselves in Ramadan, to repair our soul, to have a time for reflection, to have a time for connection with God, to have a time for communication, resume our communication, to fix our soul, our families, our face. And at the same time that we are fasting, we think about the poor people whether in this country, we think about the refugees from the Afghanis who are refugees next door to all the refugees. In this country only they talk about the, the Ukrainian refugees, right? But we have so many refugees at the border of the United States, the Mexican, those people at the border who separated from their children. Nobody talks about those kind of refugees. So, so much racism, so much level standard, so much hypocrisy, so much hate. But Ramadan is a month of healing, month of love and brotherhood, month of unity and togetherness, month of ibadah and worship, month of salat and siyam. So please don't miss Ramadan. Are you ready to come to the Hikmah, inshallah, as many nights as possible during the holy month of Ramadan? Yes or no? Yes. MashaAllah. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allah. Inshallah, you are, you are Junood al-Mahdi, inshallah. You are Ahzab al-Mahdi, inshallah. And you say, Allahumma j'alna min awliya'ika fa inna awliya'ika la khafun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun. اللهم اجعلنا من جندك فإن جندك هم الغالبون اللهم اجعلنا من حزبك فإن حزبك هم المفلحون صلوا على محمد وآل محمد اللهم صلوا على محمد وآل محمد We have almost another five six minutes before the salat حاجة سعيدة anything else after the lecture oh okay so now the final part of this program and the uh, Hajj Ihsan is going to come and complete that. So we welcome him with salawat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Okay, so we have the Kahoot, uh, as, so Kahoot and a uh, couple raffles. So we will go through the raffles really quick um, while we set up the projector for Kahoot as well. First raffle goes to 126070. 126070. 126070. No? Last time, 1260070. No winner. We move on. Oh, winner. Sister Hara. Next. What, are, are we keeping the uh, raffles? Okay. Wow, that was, that was not a very good clap. Sister Hara, if you can keep two of the raffles, whichever one you think, for the winners of our Kahoot competition. So, second raffle goes to 126147. One, two, six, one, four, seven. Oh, winner right here. Give a round of applause. Next raffle goes to... 
Last call, one, two, six, two, two, zero. No winner? Three, two, one. Okay. This is going to be the last one, for real this time. No joke. One, two, six, two, two, two. One, two, six, two, two, two. the projector, I believe. We're going to go through this point. Okay, so the Kahoot is up here. So you're going to go to Kahoot.it. The code is 292-0260. So our program here was so great that a family from uh, Arizona, they told me if I can increase the time on the Kahoot, because they're watching from the live stream. They don't have any uh, messages on their area. So they said they want to celebrate Imam Mahdi's birthday. If I could increase the time on the questions. So usually we think 10 seconds each. This time it's 30 seconds, so they're able to uh, participate from Arizona as well. Where are you? So we're going to wait 30 more seconds before we start. Yes. First question. This Kahoot is Imam Mahdi's birthday. 15th of Chaban. Question number one. Our 12th Imam was born on the 15th of Chaban, Eid al Fitr, middle of Ramadan, or the 3rd of Rajab. If you see that everyone's answered or almost everyone, you can skip as or like go to the next. Fifteenth of Shaban. Yes, today's fifteenth of Shaban. I think we said the answer before. Next question. First place is Muhammad Alahi. Whoa, I know that kid. Oh, he's right there. Who is the mother of Imam Alahi? Fatima Zahra, Umar Benin, Khadija, and I just saw two. Fatima to Sahra, Umul Bani, Khadija, or Narjis Khartoum. Yes, it is Narjis Khartoum. Oh, first place is Naudur. 
fun fact guys, uh, du'a al-iftitah, which we read in Ramadan, was taught to us by Imam al-Mahdi. Where was Imam al-Mahdi born? Kufa, Samara, Karbala, or Seattle? Kufa, Samara, Karbala, or Seattle, Washington? Samara! Samara is a city in Iraq, North Eastern, I believe. Ah, oh, yeah, hey, I got it in first place. Next question. Where is Imam Mahdi right now? He's in Iran, Iraq, New York, or in Ghaibat, high rotation? No answers, please. We got eight more questions, yes! Oh my god, the four people that said Arab, I don't know what to tell you. Mahdi is in first place. Which other Imams have the same name as Imam Mahdi? There are two correct answers. Is it Imam Taqi, Imam al baghir Imam Al-Sajjad, or Imam Al-Ali? Imam Ali. Imam Taqi, Imam al baghir Imam Al-Sajjad, or Imam Ali? Whoa. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, right about now I'm going to give you a hint. The name of the 12 Imams are on this side and this side, so maybe take a look at it. It is Imam al baghir and Imam al Tati. So Imam al baghir is Muhammad al baghir and Imam Mahdi is Muhammad al Mahdi with Imam al Tati, which is uh, Imam al Jawad. Mahdi has retained his place in first. How many deputies did the Imam, Imam have during Ghaibat to Sohra? 313. Hint, hint. 3, 4, or 72. It, it literally cannot be easier than this. How many deputies did Imam have in Ghaibat to Sohra? I stump all of you. We send Ghaibat to let, let me explain here. We send Ghaibat to Sopra. Ghaibat to Sopra. We're right now Ghaibat to Kubra. Ghaibat to Sopra, Imam had four representatives during that time. Boom. That was a trick question. Next. This is your book. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Which program will reappear to help Imam Mahdi? Nabi Muhammad, Nabi Yunus, Nabi Isa, and Nabi Nuh. Muhammad, Yunus, Isa, Nuh. It is Nabi Isa. Oh, Muhammad Hussein down to fourth place. Let's continue. What is the kunya or the title of Imam Mahdi? Abu Fatima, Abu Saleh, Abu Hassan, or Abu Qasim? Abu Fatima, Abu Saleh, or Abu Salah? I think he means Abu Saleh. Abu Hassan or Abu Qasim? How many more questions do we have? Four more questions. Sister Sabira Mohsen retained her spot in first. What is the Imam's name in the Quran? Qa'im Muntada Hujjatullah or Baqiyatullah. This is, I don't, I don't know if anyone can get this one right. Unless they guess. قائم منتظر ومنتظر حجة الله and بقية الله. The answer was بقية الله. The ayah is بقية الله خير لكم وأبقى. Ten, two more questions left. Who was the last 
who is the lady present at Imam Mahdi and Jamal Ta'ala Farajah? Sharif's birth. Sayyidah Khadija, Sayyidah Zainab, Baby Zahra, Sayyidah Hakima. Sayyidah Khadija, Sayyidah Zainab, Sayyidah Zahra, Baby Zahra, Sayyidah Hakima. Baby and Sayyidah are the same, same thing. Thank you, Hash. Yes, it was Sayyidah Hakima, who I believe is the aunt of the Imam. So the points, the, the difference between second place and first place is looking like 60 points. So, really close game here. What should we recite after saying Imam Mahdi's name? Should we say, I don't know, Allahu Akbar, Salawat, or Anja Allahu Ta'ala, Faraj al Sharif? Yes, I don't know who said salawat, but that is not correct. Let us continue. I believe this is the last question, the points, the difference is only 46 points difference between first and second place. Let's see. Last question, I believe, yes, Imam Mahdi is our third Imam. First Imam, of course, fourth Imam or sixth Imam. Yes, it is for our winners, whoever they may be. Let's see. Let's see who is in third place. Third place, 10,000 points. One mistake only. No. Second place is MM. Who is MM? First place is. Sadra Muxin. Round of applause for them, please. So if the two winners, if you can show us that you're actually the winner, so we can give you a prize. Inshallah, uh, guys, we will conclude with the Dua Al-Hujjah. If we can send a loud salawat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allah, salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Yes. How do we do now? And in first place as well. So, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma kalli wa liyakal. حجت ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد We'll see you in the Mahdi Hall for both refreshments and for uh, Jama'a prayers inshallah We see you at our next program Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh